Rebel Access. I'm your host, Natasha. Tonight I'm at the Pro Room with the band. Let's start with name. How did you decide the name and the mean what's the meaning behind the band's name? Wow. Well, uh, I think initially it was it was a song of of, of uh, a band called Seance, which was our one of our guitar plays. Uh, he had a he had a band called Seance, and one of the songs on their their record was the haunted. What it means? No, I I have no clue. It it sounds kind of cool. Uh, I agree. And we had a bunch of different ideas for logos and stuff, and one came up that was kind of like this uh, like late sixties prison movie kind of, which is the one we have. And I was like, that's the one. That's the one right there. With, with the guy and then you know yeah. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> um how did the haunted form and how long has your current lineup been together uh we've been together since 1996 mm -hmm. and the current f the current like like uh lineup has been since 2003 uh with with all of us together so you know, it's yeah, it's, it keeps keeps on going. You know, we we were together. I I left the band in right right at the end of '88, no no '98, uh, '98 '99, and then Marco took over for four years, and then I came back. Okay. Um, who are your musical influences growing up? Wow, I mean, that's are you is that like for the whole band or just for me? I guess for you. <clears throat> All right. I think for me, it's a, it's like a really wide variety of, of musicians. You know, it was every, everything from like David Bowie, uh, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, uh, Anita Lane, uh, you know, uh, uh, Henry Rollins, uh, even The Cure, uh, or the the band called The Ruts that I I really thought were great, uh, The Clash. Um, Iron Maiden. Uh, there's a band called called Front Two Four Two that I thought were seminal. You know, I listen to so much different music. Mm -hmm. I, I I lived out of the country, like way out from people, and there were really like none of the music I liked was anything that anyone in school would listen to. So I I would like sit up late late at night and listen to the radio and I'd record stuff, and. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I uh, send, I have, what do you call that? Um, well, I, I have music magazines that I, that oh, I okay. like, get every, every once in a while. Every time, I, you know, anyone came from the big city, you know, they, I have them bring music magazines. But I, I, for me, I didn't have any distinction as far as, you know, this is metal or this is punk rock or this is, you know, pop or whatever. I thought, it, you know, I mean, good music is good music. I didn't really care at all. And uh, it was kind of a shock when I, when I, when I moved out, because I was 15 when I moved out, and I found this tiny little apartment and went to high school and I worked. Uh, and, and to see how, well, I went from the country like to this little town, but the little town thought it was a really big place, you know, right. uh, it's really funny. And how like distinct the little scenes were. And it was so ridiculous because it was like just it was so ridiculous to even have scenes in a place that small. Um, so I I kind of kept my own thing going. You know I I look for music that I think is good music, and I've kind of stayed that way. And that's I think one of the reasons that we got together as a band and really have enjoyed, you know, enjoyed being together as a band because we we take inspiration from so many places, and then we happen to kind of have have a general kind of expression towards some kind of metal but we don't know what we're we're playing some kind of metal i guess you know uh but the influence some kind is of good music. yeah some kind of med, you know good music metal hardcore whatever you know it's it's something we enjoy you know so would you say that the majority of your band has similar variety of influences as well yeah absolutely very awesome um um, what song do you think really gets the crowd going at most of your shows? 
I don't know, over like the last couple of years, it seems to be all of them. I, I don't know. But we're, we're very lucky. We've been together for a long time. We've had the, you know, had the privilege of, of continuously writing records, you know, and, and touring. Now it feels like we're doing some kind of best of, <laughs> you know. Right. It's, it's, it's great because we, we, we get to play good songs all the way through and people are really enjoying it. I, it's cool. Very awesome. Um, what's your favorite song to play live? Oh, oh wow, that's a hard question. I, I really like them all. Uh, there's a song called Barrier Dead. I, I dig that one. Um, but you know, all the songs, I, I like what we do. You know, it's it's, it's one of those things because I really really dig our band. I'm, I'm like, I really love being in this band. And I really love doing it. So it's you know. Um. What's a must-have for you guys backstage? Coffee and water. Milk. Because everyone has milk in their coffee. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, we're, we're very much coffee drinkers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keeps you awake. Um, what do you want to say to all those aspiring musicians who want to be where you guys are today? I try to figure out what, what the hell it is we're doing and what, where we're at. Uh, if you have rock star dreams and rock star aspirations, like get those really quickly out of your head, and uh, you know, because if you ever become like some kind of rock star, I guess that that's just sheer fluke. You know, uh, the days of the dinosaurs are really over. Uh, but it's it's a great living. But you kind of I, I I think. Get your ego the hell out of the way, and that's hard to do when you're like 18, you know, because then you're all ego. I, I, I know, <laughs> but <clears throat> but <clears throat> play music because you love playing music, and don't expect anything. Don't expect anything, and try to, you know, give as much as you can out of for music and for your friends and for the people who will come out even if it's like two people and a dog like seriously you know because that's where it's at then then you're doing it for the right reasons definitely oh and practice <laughs> you know really practice your instrument uh, and play together as a band yeah um, what's in store what's in the future Mm, writing, writing music, touring, uh, wow, I'm getting a new apartment. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, I used to live in this house, a house out in, the, out in the woods, you know, back home, and the old lady, her husband killed himself because he, he, he got some kind of lung disease and he decided I'm not going to go out slowly, he just killed himself, and so she decided to give her, to give the house because I rented. Um, so I'm going to look for a new place as soon as we get back after this tour. Okay. Um, what would you like to say to all your fans watching here on Rebel Access? Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, thank you. Um, without the people who, you know, give us the opportunity to keep doing what we do and, you know, for all the feedback, all the support, all the, you know, the mail, all the letters, thank you. You know, it's... It means the world to us, and thank you. How warming and heartfelt.